Do you like biscuits, Melissa? Mm. Very. <laughs> Very good. Ryan, contrary to popular belief, you didn't actually fail the first year. First day in Norwich. What were your, what were your first thoughts? Um, I was picked up by a, a man in a onesie. I do remember. But it was quite fun because I thought I was going to like a, an uber serious place and that did make me laugh a bit. Okay. Yeah. Have you finished your biscuit yet? Do you need a bit more time? <laughs> and slurp. Slurp. <laughs> That's what I did. What's your favourite thing about Norwich? Ooh. Oh yeah, definitely the people. Yeah. Like me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, joking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Ryan, how's it been working with Melissa? Honestly, she's not listening. It's like having a second me. Melissa. Yes. What have you learnt about yourself this year that it is safe to tell everyone? Okay. <laughs> um, I think. What I've learned is that I can perhaps take on a lot more than I thought I could and I don't have to um, freak out and scream pressure. Yes, you have. <laughs> My favourite event, uh, Intense. Yeah. And why? Um, I think I got to know a lot of the young people more and it was very fun and great. And. Intense. 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 Uh, yeah, it was also very intense. No, yeah, it was. But don't. Ignore the dove. Uh, favorite event? Oh, it's got to be the sleepover, the movie marathon. Really? You were watching Marvel films, eating pizza. <laughs> I did have popcorn stuck on me though when I was asleep. I'm still not very happy about that. <laughs> I have goose poo on my nipple. <laughs> I'm videoing that. <laughs> what one thing? or person or event or something has changed you most or developed you most during this year? Melissa first. Um, I think the one thing that has changed me is probably my concept of family. Um, yeah, I'm very much a family person back home and I didn't think that I could like make a family outside my family, but I really feel like I've just made another family that means just as much to me as my biological one, so that's really changed. Leave him alone, you don't know where he's been. The hard times. The cold ice wind billowing on my cheek. <laughs> and, oh, it's about 30 degrees today, right? <laughs> There's no ice wind billowing anywhere near your cheeks. 